Ellery, how's it going, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, that's bad. Look, 2021's only a couple of weeks old. First of all, you signed a new deal to 2025. That's a big commitment from not only yourself, but the club as well. Because that will take you up to, what, 26 you'll be when that... Yeah, 20, 26, yeah. 26, 27, yeah. So what um, what made you want to extend the deal? Obviously, like Brentford's a club where if you do well as a youngster, like you, you'll always get your chance. Like as you can see, like some of the young boys coming through, um, as Rosler, for example, like he does, he does well and like, he gives them his chance. So obviously, they put massive, massive faith in me, and obviously I've, I've returned the favour and stuff. And I just can't wait to obviously get some experience out on loan first, and um, and then yeah, push for that number one spot, which, which is what I want. And you spoke about the loan there. So when you sign a new deal like that, do you sit down with the club and say, right, well, what's what's your plan for me? What what where do you see my future then? Because I'm not just going to sign this for no reason. And do they tell you what they expect from you? It's been a, a bit of a long time coming, like this new deal. Um, and we just sat down and we spoke about like obviously my goals and my aspirations for the future and stuff. Obviously, I want to I want to play for Brentford. I want to be number one. And obviously, the club. The club want want to see me there, and they just want me to have a good, a good uninterrupted time. Obviously, my last two lines have been cut short due to injury and stuff. A uh, good uninterrupted time, like out on loan. Um, obviously, getting them games in to come in and and push for number one. And, and is it tougher, do you think, for a keeper because, especially a young goalkeeper coming through? Because a lot of clubs will maybe go, oh, I'm not sure about bringing any young lad on loan in goal. If it's a striker or a winger, do you know what I mean? You may yeah, be yeah, more yeah. open to it, but it's a big, big thing for a manager to invest a lot of confidence in a young goalkeeper. Yeah, definitely. Like, obviously, the peak for goalkeepers a lot later on in their career. Like, I'm talking 28, like 29, and even 30. Most keepers peak at that sort of time. So, Brentford giving me this contract and um, showing me um, how they believe in me obviously puts a a lot of confidence into myself. Yeah, and those other two loan deals, what did you get out of them, personally? Obviously, Boreham Wood um, is conference, my first time playing like men's football. So, um, obviously, I was only 18 then, getting used to the physical physical side of the game. And um, I like the manager there. I like I liked the way they played, really. Like, they didn't just always boo it long, which was good. Yeah. Sometimes they like to play, um, which was which was nice. So that was that really that was more of a, a physical step up, I'd say the first loan. And then uh, Viborg, um, I don't know the 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 way they played was they played out from the back all the time, no 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 going long, which is obviously part of my game, part a massive part of my game, which I I like to do. So I enjoyed that aspect of that out in Denmark. I was going to say out in Denmark. That that must be. <laughs> for you to, to what was it like living away in, in another country yeah it was good it was good like Viborg is is very quiet mate very quiet like, um, <laughs> like it London. was good it was good in that sense like it was good to um to just focus on football um obviously after my MCL injury good to just focus on football like there's no distractions out there it's literally Viborg's in the middle of nowhere mate nothing you can do <laughs> four hours away from Copenhagen like crazy but um in that aspect it was good yeah and what about like the food and that like, what's the danish food there? Nah, 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 i'm not feeling it mate nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. i'm not feeling that one so, nah, nah, nah. did you pick not up any other language to bring back uh, up and that nah not really just 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 i don't know attack means thank you and that uh, that's it that's all i know mate. yeah some swear words but i won't yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, getting on to swear words, you picked up your first red out there, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a misunderstanding between me and the ref. Um, obviously, yeah, learning curve for me. But um, That's what it's about, isn't it? Yeah, for yeah. someone of your age, you, got, like, you, you can only learn from mistakes, right? That's yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. But then, obviously, you're continuing your education now up at, up at Doncaster. Like you're joining a club that are fourth in League One, so this isn't yeah. like this is intense where you're going into. Do you know what I mean? The promotion push, that must have been a massive draw for you, and that excitement to be right in the middle of something there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Obviously, Darren Moore, massive manager, um, who's at Doncaster at the moment, and just coming to play under someone like that, uh, I can learn so much of them. 
And then first game, thrown straight in the deep end, bang, Blackburn away, FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you find that, mate? Yeah, it was good. Um, obviously, I was playing against some of my some of my friends like from England and stuff, so um, that was good. A good experience. Um, it was nice. It was nice to play like a, a game of football that actually, you know, meant something. And um, and yeah, I enjoyed the result. Well, you know what I'm going to ask you about that double save. <laughs> talk to, that, that double save was absolutely out of hand. Yeah. Um, talk to me about it. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I kind of probably some people say you should have caught the first one and stuff, but um, I did see the ball, the first one, so late, and then obviously it's just reactions getting up to the, to the second one. They love you for it. They were saying build the statue now and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What I love about it, you did the classic keeper thing, like you've made this unreal double save, and all your teammates are coming up and like, oh my god, you just go, get out there, get out there. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just. I'm going to go at them, telling them to concentrate inside. Yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to do that. All that work, and then obviously, we can see from a corner. It just it's just goes to nothing. Do you know what I mean? But secretly inside, you're buzzing about that, aren't you? Yeah, secretly, I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> look, mate. When I first met you, you were a young, fresh-faced, 18-year-old. You were yeah. doing a, you know, the drill for us at Soccer Emery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hockey, yeah. <laughs> and you pulled off an unbelievable save. Sat here in front of me now, 21-year-old, England under-21 international. How would you compare the Ellery then to the Ellery today? I don't know. I think my mind, my mindset has, has shifted a lot since then. I mean, I focus on, on what I can control. And also, my, I think my, my preparation uh, has changed uh, significantly. Obviously, I've had two like, quite major like, injuries. I've, I've had a slip disc in my back. I've, I've done my MCL all in that in that time period, so I think it's just about the way I the way I look after my body is is um, it's kind of the most important thing like to me at the moment. I just want to stay fit and um, hopefully get as many games as I can. Well, mate, it's exciting times ahead, and I appreciate yeah, definitely. Your time. Top man, no man. problem, mate. Cheers. Cheers.